Okay. So excuse this craziness. My naturals are growing in though. You know, you'd be surprised when you let your hair grow natural, the curl pattern and the curls that you see. I never knew what they looked like this. They're so pretty. Um, anyways, I just want to sit down and have a real talk with you guys. <laughs> of girl that hid my face so afraid to tell the world what i've got to say but i have this dream right inside of me i'm gonna let it show it's time to let you know to let you know this is a real down and have a real talk with you guys because a lot of stuff has been going on as we know um, ever since George Floyd but not just George Floyd I mean this has been going on for centuries in the United States and it's really unfortunate that people can't just seem to look at all human beings as human beings um, it just boggles my mind you never see a certain breed of dog hating on the same breed because it has a different fur color like it's just ridiculous right it's, just, it's insane sure there's cultural differences you know but race is socially constructed and my opinion or not even just my opinion this is the truth it's so socially constructed in order to create division um you have things like people in northern africa that could pass for white if you look at complexion but are they white they're African, so are they black? Or you have people in southern parts of Europe, such as Spain or Italy or Greece, and some of them, Turkey, they could be a few shades lighter than me and pass as black, but are they black? Or are they white because they can check the box as Caucasian? See, none of that makes sense. And then where does you know the mixed races come in? Are they black? Are they white? You know, when you sit there and you have to put people in categories, it just doesn't make sense. And it's really just a way to cause division because, of course, we have different ethnicities. Ethnicities, um, you can say that, which are mainly, I guess, focused more on culture, I believe. Um, but yes, there's different ethnicities. You may be, but there's also different nationalities. I should start with that. Nationalities as you may be European, you may be African, you may be South American, which really you would specify a country, so Argentinian or whatever you may say that you are, that's your nationality. Ethnicity is more of a cultural you know, group. Where do you fit in in that country or in that nation? But as far as race and color, it's ridiculous. And I truly believe that that's just human nature for someone to always feel like they're better than someone else. And it's unfortunate. Um, I believe that if we were all the same complexion, then it would be something stupid like where you live or what you drive or how much money you make. It's really sad. And unfortunately, um, when it comes to race, people like myself and other people of color um, seem to get the brunt of it because we're not the ones in government power, making all of the rules, the decisions, and and um, the propaganda that goes around the world. So we've had a lot of people that, um, I believe that there has been police, police brutality within all races. It's more of an issue of them having too much power and trying to reconstruct what that looks like. Um, because of course, we I believe we need policemen and not all police are bad however when you have these bad apples or you have the good apples that watch the bad apples and don't do anything about it and it's becoming a thing where people are frightened when we pay tax money in order for them to protect and serve 
Um, I just feel like maybe there should be things where there's regular psych evaluations every year or more. Um, maybe they should be held at different standards. I don't know. Either way, I'm, I'm not the one to make the decisions, but I know that it has been an issue for all races. However, the numbers are significant in the fact that people of color die in the hands of police officers and not that they don't die in the hands of other people. I don't want to hear the black on black and Latino on Latino, like it doesn't matter. The problem is, is when you have someone of authority killing you, they can get off and not have any consequences. That's the difference and that's an issue. There should never be someone of authority using their power to their advantage in that regard. Everyone in this country is supposed to have a right to a fair trial, and a lot of times that trial is on the street between the police officer and that person, and it's really unfortunate. My heart goes out to George Floyd's family. Um, I'm happy to see how much change has happened, um, how much change is continuing to happen. We really need to move forward as a human race completely um, and treat everyone as if they matter because they do. That being said, it's really had me sit and think about um, having a business as a black person in this country, um, maybe doing more in business to be more self-sufficient and help my community out. Um, I really am trying really hard to shop more um, black-owned businesses or businesses that support Black Lives Matter because that shows that they believe that everyone has a right to live um, and shopping with black owned businesses does not mean that I'm boycotting white businesses or they don't deserve the business all it means is that I want to try to help put money back into my own community in hopes that there will lead to further opportunities and resources in our communities I think as African Americans we have tried multiple times in this country and things have been burned to the ground, have been stripped from us. Um, and now we are finally at a time where we can start our own businesses. But I can tell you as a business owner myself, with the cookies, it's a small business, but there have been times I have had business owners, white, I won't say the names of these businesses, but I have called and told them about my cookies and they've seen pictures online and they are so excited for me to come bring them. And they bring them in, no doubt, they say they're delicious. But there's this odd, um, almost like I have an elephant nose or face. They just kind of look at you like they can't really look you straight in the eye. This has only happened maybe a couple times, but can't really look you straight in the eye. And then say, uh, we'll get back to you later. And then come back saying how great they were. But... Right now, they just don't have the need when you had just emailed them days before and they were so excited and said they would love it. So I think even being a black business owner, you still run into people that don't want to do business with you because of the way you look. And it's really unfortunate. Um, I'm sure there's lots of other examples of people who have also had the same experiences or worse. Um, it's just you got to keep trying and keep pushing. I'm never going to give up. I don't want you guys to ever give up. Never feel that you are less or beneath anyone else. Everyone that lives, breathes, eats, and you know what, <laughs> is the same. We really are. And we all deserve to live a peaceful, prosperous, healthy, happy life. And don't let anyone make you believe otherwise. So I have decided I am going to um, work towards being more self-sufficient. Of course, I am going to have to have a job to get to that point, but I want to be more self-sufficient, and uh, we'll see. I'm going to start with, I believe, I've been doing a lot of research on beauty supply stores as well as herbal stores. I don't feel that there's a lot of representation of black-owned businesses, at least here in Arizona for that and so anyways if you guys have any ideas or any examples of things you've gone through or even just have a comment I'm open to comments um, I love having dialogue with all of you guys so thank you for commenting and um, 
yeah, it's times are crazy, but hang in there, everybody. Hang in there. I think everybody has been going through some depression, but we'll get through this. Okay. Thank you. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more video content like this, subscribe. Bye.